Are you ready, Zach? Yeah. Okay, my friend. Alright, let's do it. Go for it. Ooh, nice. Oh, I, clock, I yeah. forget to push, so <laughs> remind me I'll when, I, you, when yeah. I forget uh, pushing. Okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, okay. You're right here, right? Right there, okay, got yeah. What are you asking? How many games you gonna play? What do you mean? What, how many games? How many games you have to play? Just... No, no. What, why is it so important? I want to play two. You want to feel? Oh.
bit of trouble here. What do you got? I, uh, I can't figure out what to... What's happened? Yeah. I, I'm forgetting yeah, to uh, yeah. push this all the time. That was good, that was good, man. Hey guys, Brian here, and let's go over the game to see what we can learn from it. Um, so I'm going to show you guys three things today, but the first thing I want to show you is kind of a, a little a note about this computer evaluation bar. So white moves, um, actually I castle here, and the computer kind of jumps up in favor of white. And uh, I just want to show you guys the difference between kind of a computer and a human. So the computer says that the best move here in this position is e4. So if the uh, bishop falls back here, you got this pin, but then you get two, pin, two pawns for the uh, piece. But in this position, what I would probably do is just um, sack here, right? And then the computer recommends d5, and then the knight jumps back, pawn takes, queen takes, and the computer likes white in this position but from a human point of view I mean I would not want to be white here his kind of king is opened up and black can start moving his pieces and maneuvering and start pushing his pawns and it kind of looks dicey for white I mean probably maybe white can kind of escape this way somehow but I just wanted to show you guys just because the computer evaluation says it's um in favor of a certain side and it recommends certain moves they're not necessarily moves that a human would make i mean maybe some people would be comfortable in this position as white but i i wouldn't be so just want to tell you guys that yeah i think the evaluation bar uh when it comes to like relating to human activities when you see a jump wildly up or down then you know there's a tactic there so just want to show you guys that all right let's go to the um inflection point in the game so basically any if you give a good player any chance, like any small chance to, if you make a mistake, they will capitalize and win the game. And that's exactly what Zev did here. So 
right here I pushed g5 and my thought was I wanted to kind of open this up have the rooks lined up and you know at some point maybe if this pawn um, takes somewhere get this nice juicy fork and that was my plan but ooh, and uh, some of you guys will already know this but it's always a good uh, reminder every pawn push creates a weakness so you got to be really careful pushing your pawns and um, double check to make sure that that weakness can't be exploited. So when I push g5, the weakness is this is no longer defended twice. It's only defended once. So Zeb played the old good old remove the defender. Knight takes, I'm forced to recapture, and now the rook comes in. And that's all he needed to win. If you let your um, opponent have that small opening, if you slip up, then you will take advantage and uh, win the game. But... Um, I want to show you guys a cool tactic. The last one here. It's, uh, so it's rook f2, and I'm moving my queen to um, a2. And notice the big jump in the evaluation bar. That's how, that's when you know there's something juicy here. Um, my purpose for this was I wanted to find a way to kind of get rid of this pawn, and I couldn't do it here because it was very well defended. So I thought coming through the side door, get some checks in, maybe get closer to this. And then uh, try to queen this pawn, put this rook over here, take this pawn with the bishop. That was kind of my general plan, but uh, if you want to pause the video and find a good move for, for white. And this tactic is pretty long. I mean, it's not an immediate tactic. It's not something that pays off, but I just want to show you guys the sequence. So if you want to find the first move of the uh, sequence. Okay. Discovered discovered attack, knight c4, so here I come with the check, rook comes back to defend, and now my queen gets closer to this. And um, this is a really deadly pawn push, as you'll see. So the computer recommends um, king going in the corner in this position, and you know, there are many lines to this tactic, but I, I went through all of them and I tried to choose the most exciting one, and um, with a combination of moves that I would make and the computer would make just to kind of give you guys a cool show. So next move is rook f7. And uh, what I would probably do is start sacking in this situation. Bishop takes, pawn takes, queen takes, I get the check. King goes in the cubby hole. And now I get to push and knight can't take because his queen will drop. But now uh, white comes in, threatens mate here, so I push the pawn, and white tries to go in the corner for mate, but um, I have a defense here, and now the rook takes, and now the rook is threatening mate here with the queen, so I have to push b5 so my queen can defend, and now the rook comes down here, and I, I push the pawn, and it looks like if I have one more tempo, I can queen and then mate on the next move, but... If you want to pause the video and find the move for white, you can do so now. White simply, boom, checkmate. Yeah, the rook is pinned, can't take, and yeah, that's all she wrote. So I thought that was a cool uh, long tactic to show you guys. And, and it all started for, off with that pawn push right here, right? So kind of a um, pretty cool tactic. So I guess the moral of the story here is is right here, basically. Um, Every pawn push creates a weakness. Make sure that that weakness can't be exploited by your opponent, and you should be, uh, you should be fine, right? And can't can't give your opponent anything. Give them an inch, and if they're a good player, they'll take it. They'll take a mile. And that's exactly what Zeb did here. So, good game to him. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, game and the analysis, and uh, see you guys later.